Hi, Tang here. So I'm building a Sinner Lifter and I've opted to get the um, Shen Drones Thick 2.1 for my frame. This video is just going to be a quick guide on how to access the Shen Drones website, what do the different options of purchasing means, as well as a guide on how to build only the carbon fiber of this frame. I'm still waiting for the electronics. So just skip to this timestamp if you want to just see the carbon fiber built. If not, let's head over to shendrones.com. So over at shendrones.com, you would head over to the store. And for me, I've purchased the 2.1. So these are the different options you get from this drop down menu. So the base frame is essentially this part over here that you can get the whole frame where you can hold all your electronics, the motors and everything. And this is the baseline on what you need to fly. Next we have the camera mount and that is basically this piece over here which sits on top of the frame over here. It integrates into the design. This has a camera manipulator where if you loosen the screws, you could adjust the angle basically up and down like so. So the camera mount comes with two different options, alpha gel being the more expensive option, while silicone dampers being the less expensive version. The alpha gel is said to be more squishy and can handle more vibrations, but that is within the sphere of slightly lighter payloads, for instance, a DSLR or a lower weight naked camera. While the silicone dampers are less squishy, hence might actually perform better as you scale the weight up. But you should make your own decision on this based off your application. And where I think the best place to get this information is over at the uh, FPV Cine Lifters Facebook group. In, within this group, you could also search of a specific thing you know about and um, just read it and get a better gauge about what you need to buy before purchasing. And after that, we have the 3D prints, which is this pair of frontal camera mounts, these two antennas on the left and right, which is uh, meant to hold the, the full-size air unit antennas, and also four pieces of TPU legs. Finally, we have the FX6 mod, which is basically this piece over here, which normally you would have to unscrew this side as well as this side. So the FX6 mount just reduces you the work to do on the left side before you can manipulate the angle. Okay, so on to the build. Andy Shen has done the wonderful thing of separating the screws for you. So try to as much keep the screws in positions that you know of. The list of screws is over here. I'm not going to go through them. I'm just going to put a label over there and I'll name the screws as we build them. And we start off with the uh, plates. So we have the lowest plate as well as the upper plate of the bottom side. The ones with the lipo strap holes would be the lowest plate while the other piece would be on top of it and in between is the arms and then we bring in the arms so the four pieces of arms these are the top plate and this is the bottom plate the bottom plate has the sunken holes orient your arms for the bottom plate facing down the top plate facing up so and of course these go in between so let's work on the arms first. Let's grab this plate and then grab an M3 by 25 millimeter screw. Insert it from the top. Let it meet the arms and then it meets the bottom plate like so. And at the bottom, you would put the nut in like so. And just apply this for all. The screws that you'll be using is a 2.0 millimeter screw. What I normally would do is use a plier and basically torque it in. And so each arm has three holes, one, two, and three, and you just do it for all of it. So when you order the thick with the 3D print parts, you get these 3D printed legs that are pretty solid but still flexible material. There's a bunch of sunken um, holes. So in our frame, we would actually flip it over 
and these sunken holes are meant to actually take the nut meaning that you would actually push it through like so and you can see the um, the screws actually come out over this side and you can just keep using the same batch of nuts tuck the nuts in to hold the four legs in place and I'm saving it to do later after I finish installing all the electronics so I'll do this later and let's take a quick pivot to explain how to install your motors on this I'm not using these motors for my build I'm just I just have it handy so essentially with this x8 build you want one motor at the top and one motor at the bottom with this frame you also get these um, separate plates let's just mount one motor onto a piece first m3 by five millimeter screws so with the m3 by five millimeter screws you secure it onto this plate and and it, this plate will go at the bottom here but before we do that let us also install this top motor on this plate and this requires the m3 by seven millimeter so essentially both motors of these corners would mount into place like so and you grab the m3 by 16 millimeter slot it through over here and it meets the nut here as well and then one more piece one more piece over here you tighten it in place and that is the up and down mechanism for the top and bottom motors and let's get building the rest of the frame as well so all the standoffs are of the same height I already have my 3d printed parts mounted to it so I'm just gonna mount it as per so you use the m3 by 9 millimeter screws to basically hold the standoffs in place the front one being the being the piece with the camera mount the frontal middle being the part with the antennas and notice in the design that you can actually reach your screw through the bottom side is already intended to go through like so you can put in the standard standoffs for the middle back And all these other mounting holes are for like, you know, your 30 by 30s, front and back of it. Height is about as so. But yes, those screws are not provided. You have to find some of your own. Good luck with that. And now we go on to the top plate that goes on top of the standoffs. So if you see these pieces over here, the part where it bulges out should be facing the bottom side of the frame. You can secure the rest with um, four of this M3 by 9 millimeter hex screws. Specifically these four in the middle because these other six screws will actually be used for our universal camera mount. And let's just build that before we meet back with this frame. And now let's build the universal camera mount. This is essentially the bottom plate. So let's prepare this piece. You want to get this piece of carbon fiber together with the M3 by 9mm screw go through this piece and this piece essentially sits at the back side here but of course you need to put the nut in this sunken hole like so and then this like so and you do the same for the back left side and instead for the frontal side you'll be using these so this is the camera angler that will be installed in the front as so meet the nut over here as you did for the previous plates and the same is done with the top left side so with the head facing in front like this you kind of want the fins to be like this because the camera angle is going to be like this up and down like so so that is the bottom plate what you need to mount there is of course the top plate and this piece is the p 
piece that actually sits over here and goes up and down like so. So before we put it in this, let's get our orientation straight. One side is the flat side and the other side is the sunken side. The sunken side should be facing upwards. You want to get these M3 by 8mm screws, two of them for each corner, as well as this, this aluminum piece. If this is facing the frontal side, what you want is for the aluminum piece hole to be facing the front over here, as well as the back piece facing to the back. So let's get to it. And as for the back piece, the hole is actually facing the back. So as you can see, the screws sunk inside just nicely and it's a flat surface to put your cameras later. So this piece will actually go in between like so. So to secure it in place, you need to get these uh, M4 by 12 millimeter. For this one, your uh, hex screwdriver should be 2.5 millimeters. Just putting that as a plate. Ah uh, yeah, don't forget to put the washer in between the screw before you start. Let it sit secure and then at the front side as well, your adjusting plate to put this like so. And so when you want to adjust the angle, what you do is to just loosen both sides and then when you get the desired angle, just tighten it up. Okay, so now for the part where the universal camera mount would meet the frame. So for this piece, you want to get the M3 by 20. Get this um, piece of circular carbon fiber with the circular gummy. Push it through. And I will make these. And these pieces are the thing that is supposed to go on top. Like this. And as for this um, Lego head looking gummies, it would go on the bottom, like so. And essentially there are si the, the rest of the six holes over here. So what you want to go through. So I tend to just align the Lego head gummies in between each hole first. And then this piece over here, carbon fiber on top, um, single layer gummy, would go in through the camera mount into the frame itself. And we kind of screw it in to go through the carbon fiber and meet the bottom standoff. And over this side, you see the screw will actually go through and meet this um, screw, uh, this nut over here as well. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this carbon fiber only build of the Shendrun's Thick. Thanks for watching.